It's been an extraordinary, extraordinarily busy 48 hours for the Atlantic hurricane season. Just two days after Tropical Storm Hillary barreled through parts of California and Nevada, uh, Harold uh, is blowing through parts of South Texas. ABC's Alexis Christophorus has details. Fast moving tropical storm Harold made landfall this morning on Padre Island, a popular tourist area known for its beaches just south of Corpus Christi. The storm unleashing winds more than 50 miles per hour, a tornado threat and heavy rainfall that's causing flash flooding in parts of southern Texas. More than 1.2 million people along the eastern coast of Texas under a tropical storm warning and more than 30,000 people in the state are without power. It comes two days after tropical storm Storm Hillary lashed the West Coast, bringing record-breaking rainfall to Southern California, flooding roads and triggering mudslides and rock slides. Cathedral City near Palm Springs submerged in the mud, residents now digging out. The news pounded it and pounded it and pounded it and people stayed in. The worst part was here on this street, it's called Coble. It took on thigh-high water. Tropical storm Hillary bringing a year's worth of rain to Death Valley. California getting socked with a one-two punch from Mother Nature when an earthquake struck near Ojai Sunday, about 80 miles northwest of Los Angeles. Our, our studio is shaking right now, so not only are we dealing with a tropical storm, but it appears we are now dealing with an earthquake. This video showing the moments the 5.1 magnitude quake unrelated to the storm shook a bar in Ventura, California, as bottles can be seen flying off shelves. There were no initial reports of significant damage or injuries from the earthquake. Meantime, in Texas, Tropical Storm Harold is expected to weaken into the night as it approaches Rio Grande River near Laredo. In New York, Alexis Christophorus, ABC News.